I have your attention for a minute, please. Uh, and this is this is not my exhibition. This is Brendan's exhibition, and uh, and particularly I'd like to thank him. Uh, he came into the shop to me uh, a few months ago and said, "Can I take a few photographs?" And um, I said, "Go ahead," because. Uh, the shop, in, in our shop in Bray seems to be the most photographed shop around, it. mostly student uh, photographers and all that all come in over the years uh, because there's a uniqueness about it because there hasn't been a coat of paint on it in the last 60 years and it's an uh, authentic type of machinery and stuff like that. Uh, so in that sense that, uh, that uh, it's one of, the, it's one of the, the shops in Bray that a lot of people recognise and a lot of people from the time they're very young from all over the world come back and say you know, I haven't been here for years, uh, things haven't changed a bit. So I was delighted to, to accommodate Brendan, like anyone that uh, wants to take a photograph in regard to the shop. But just to give you a, an insight into the shop, it's, uh, it was 1960 that my father came into that shop. And um, I'm going to, going to let you know my age now anyway, but 1962 when I was 14, I came into that shop as well. In those days, when you were 14, you, you went into the trades, uh, anyone that's old enough now to remember that's what you've done. Uh, now, if my grandchildren are 14, I would hardly send them across the road for a, for a, 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 for a loaf of bread. Now, but 14 then, you went and you had a trade and uh, you controlled your few bob that you had in your pocket at the particular time. And that's the days that we're in it now. And uh, uh, I, my kids, a few of my kids are here. It was 24 before they started working. <laughs> but anyway, it started in 1962, and my father uh, continued that. He was 82 when he died about uh, in 2000, uh, 2000, and, uh, 2000, as a matter of fact. And uh, he, he continued that. But he was along that road from the time he was eight years old. He was, when he was eight, he was running messages for people, would you believe, along that road. And he used to walk in the shop down below. Some people would know it as he used to be Philly Mays, but that was Stuart's shop. And at that, that stage, there was ten surety pairs in Bray. On the corner. And yeah, and the, and the, and the um, there was ten surety pairs in Bray, and there was only half the population uh, that was in the town at the time. And the idea was that in those days, in the early days, in the 50s and 60s, uh, some people would remember. Most people, if you were lucky enough, they had two pairs of shoes. One was for work. And one was for so going out at the weekend. And there was, there was, there was, there was, there was, when I started out first, of a Friday night and a Saturday night, there would be a queue of girls from Woolworths, including my wife. And, uh, at the time, they were outside, they were outside uh, waiting to pick up their shoes so they could go dancing at the, at the weekend. And uh, they because the people only had two pairs of shoes then. And uh, there was ten shops in Bray, as I said in Bray at that stage. Uh, I'm the only one left now and I'm working a, a, a part-time uh, three days a week so it suits me fine. Covid done that, that mm. you have to uh, decide what you wanted to do after Covid and stuff like that. But over the years like there have been a huge amount of big personalities that have been in that shop for one reason or another and it's been a great source uh, to me uh, meeting people <coughs> and stuff like that so and it'll continue for as long as I have the good health uh, to, to continue because um, I don't think uh, there's nobody coming into the business now. It's one of these uh, trades that will uh, drift away, you know what I mean? And um, it's a pity, but it's just, that's life. And uh, a lot of trades are just drifting away like that. But a, an exhibition like this gives people a little bit of thought of what's there at the moment, uh, what it was like, that it hasn't changed over the years and that uh, hopefully it will still be there for another few years as well. And it's people like Brendan that preserve that type of thing for posterity, for people that want to come in and see this is the way it was at a certain amount of time. So I'd like to thank him and wish him well in his future career as well. That I think by looking at this, you know that he has a future in, in photography. So I'd like to wish him well and congratulate him on this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.